Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wal Aqibatil Muttaqeen Wa La Adwan Illa Ala Zalimeen Wa Sallallahu Wa Sallam Ala Nabiya Muhammad Wa Ala Alihi Wa Sahbihi Wa Sallam Amma Ba'd Continuing on in our series of the signs of the servant's love of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala which Shaykh Al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah Rahimahullah Ta'ala mentioned in his book Al-Qa'id uh, Al-Qa'ida Fil Muhabba and we reached the portion of the trees where Shaykh Islam said, uh, or one of the things he mentioned, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, and may Allah bless him with Jannah Fardos, and forgive us and bless us all with Jannah Fardos and guidance. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. He said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, humbling yourself to him, meaning humbling yourself before Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. In reference to this, Al Fadi Ar. Ruqayshi rahimahullah ta'ala said by Allah if all of the pleasures of this dunya were gathered together to all of the devoted worshippers of Allah humbling themselves to Allah in obedience would be more delightful to them than the pleasures of this world Dhunnun rahimahullah ta'ala said every obedient slave of Allah seeks intimacy with him and every disobedient slave of Allah seeks separation from him. Everyone who loves Allah is humble to him. And everyone who fears him flees from the things that bring about his punishment. Everyone who hopes for the mercy of Allah seeks his pleasure and reward. Everyone who is obedient to Allah makes himself content with what Allah has given him and suffices himself with obedience to him from disobedience to him. Bissar rahimahullah ta'ala used to say in his dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, O oh Allah, indeed you know that ignominy, ignominy is more beloved to me than prestige. And Yusuf ibn Hussein rahimahullah ta'ala said, The case of those who love Allah is that they find contentment in ignominy in their love of Allah so those are just some of the fawaid some of the benefits that we gain from Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah in his treaties and illustrate for us the signs of the servants love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who love him subhanahu wa ta'ala wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam